Today, I want to talk about resilience. What is resilience and how can we repair and rebuild our self-narrative so that we can become our whole selves? So why are we not whole in the first place? So this is what we do, right? On a daily basis, we do so many things to break ourselves. Um, you know, because somebody said something, uh, we did something. Somebody said something that that gets tied into our self narrative narrative of who we are then uh, we have done something that we should not have done and again that gets tied into our self-narrative um, and somewhere along that line we forget our true nature of who we are um, so let's let's consider this okay how can we get back to our whole selves there are a few practices uh, that you can do throughout the day uh, and also how how can you wrap up the uh, evening and you know fall asleep before that also you can do a few things so uh, this is not a full picture of what i want to give you but this is just part one of a long series of how we can repair and rebuild our self narrative okay so uh, the first thing is we live like we are going to live forever you know there are uh, a lot of uh, tasks uh, that we put on our uh, task list and we it's like an endless it's like a bottomless pit and we continue to wrestle with it day in day out but here is the thing most of the items on that list are somebody else's agenda if you play pay close attention to it okay um so and i was talking about forgetting our true nature so what is our true nature uh, th this is what we want in life. All, all of us, each one of us, we want dignity and peace. We want to live in dignity and we want to die in peace, right? But uh, there is always this chaos and confusion about what we should be doing, you know, throughout the day, what our goals should be uh, and all kinds of things. Uh, we, we forget uh, who we are in all this confusion. Um, there is the second thing that leads to this confusion, it enhances this confusion is we forget to say no often. Uh, right now, um, here in the now, we don't want to say no because we want to stay in the inner circle of our friends who are asking us for favors. And in the long term, of course, we fear repercussions. We, we, we just want to, you know, just get it done. If anybody asks us something, just let it get done. Uh, but often again, it is not in our self agenda to do that, but we end up doing it anyway. The third biggest thing that we do is we hold hurt and hatred in our hearts. Uh, I'll tell you one example, okay? Hey, buddy, why are you angry? What's happening? Oh, you know what? There is something that my mom did 10 years ago. I don't remember what it is. She said something mean. Uh, I don't remember what it is now, but I'm still very mad at her. Okay, so here is the thing. If you're holding a cup of water like this without resting your elbow, who is it going to hurt after a little while? Right? It is you holding on to something way too long so that the burden of hurt and hatred is hurting you. So you, you might ask me, okay, so now how can I live? What should I do to you know continue living? So the first thing is Practice non-judgment. Practice non-judgment. Let go, cut your losses, move on. Second thing, mindfulness. Be here now. Be here now. Here in the now, you don't have any problems. Remember that. The third thing is trying to understand and acknowledge that chaos is a part of life. Congratulations, you're alive. That's what it means if there is chaos around you. Uh, it, it means, you know, you're trying your best to bring order into your life, but there is chaos. It is because uh, chaos is part of natural life. Uh, there is a symbolism in uh, Taoism. Um, they, it is called the yin and the yang. So the yin is, uh, it's a black serpent that represents chaos with a white dot in the center. Uh, and it is showing that in spite of chaos, order can prevail. Similarly, yang is that white serpent that represents order and there is a black dot in the center saying that there can be chaos at any moment of time it can erupt even when you think things are orderly so here is what i want you to do to wrap up the day uh, every single day 
there are all kinds of drawers you open throughout the day trying to you know uh, i have to do this i have to do that uh, somebody said this somebody said that you know all kinds of drawers in your mind that you have opened up i want you to close those drawers metaphorically as you are going to bed and calm yourself down tomorrow is a new day tomorrow is a new day of possibilities thank you